Hello everyone, this is D. Brandon Thomas back again with a long overdue YouTube video. As you can see, I have a PlayStation 5. A lot has happened over the last few months since you've last saw me on this channel. And basically right now I'm taking you through the setup process in terms of how to use the M.2 SSD on your PlayStation 5. Now for those of you lucky enough to obtain a PlayStation 5, rather disc or digital, di disc or digital the installation process is relatively the same. I will leave a link down in the description to a very helpful tutorial from a uh, YouTube channel which has shown the installation for the M.2 SSD. As of this recording, I don't have a heatsink on my particular M.2 SSD, but it's only slightly for testing purposes. I'm waiting for my heatsink to arrive. That way I can go ahead and power the system down install that heatsink onto the M.2 SSD in order to prevent any issues with in terms of um, heat dissipation, things like that. Uh, the particular SSD that I have is the WD Black, Western Digital WD Black SN850 NVMe SSD. This is the one terabyte uh, variation. It's a uh, Gen 4 technology and has up to 7,000 megabytes per second read or write. So a little bit over $200 after tax, which is not cheap, which is what you expect. But I wanted to go ahead and grab it now before the prices become even more inflated once this becomes more available to the general public. So as you can see here, I'm on the main screen. And once you have your M.2 SSD installed into the expansion bay, inside the PlayStation 5, you'll be greeted with this particular screen. I won't read this out loud for you guys just to cut down on time, but as you can see here, this is what you'll be greeted with once you start up the, pro the PlayStation 5 again after the installation. PlayStation 5 controller is already on, so let's go ahead and move over to Format M.2 SSD. Formatting looks like it won't take but a few seconds, maybe five seconds at that. Read-write speeds have gone up. It promises up to 7,000 megabytes per second on this particular drive, as you can see here. And it gives me, let's move in a little bit closer so you guys can see that, 6549.292 megabytes per second. So that is basically, once you install it and format it, it may vary. Uh, you'll have to have at least 5,500 megabytes per second at least that's a requirement for any M.2 SSD you may put into your PlayStation 5. So keep that in mind that if anything below that, it may not be up to snuff, at least for the PlayStation 5, at least what they recommend. So looks like it's really good out of the box. Let's go ahead and hit OK. System M.2 SSD has been formatted and then it'll show you where you can go to basically change where you want your games installed, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll be going to Rebuilding Database, and then you'll see System Software Beta 2.0. It's not available on the vanilla version of the PlayStation 5 as of yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll be available to the general public in the next week or so. Here we are greeted by our homepage. Let's go ahead and move over to Settings. Okay, it looks like Spider-Man Miles Morales is updated. It is a disc-based game, so let's We'll move on from that, go to settings, and we'll scroll down to storage. As you can see on my console storage, out of the 667.2 gigabytes available for the custom SSD, I only have 263.8 gigabytes available, which is not bad in terms of what games I have on here. Let's show you what I have on here right now. Taking a couple of seconds. Usually it's a lot faster than this, but let's see here. This is what I currently have installed on my PlayStation 5 in terms of the console storage. So you can see here I have, well, that's not right. Let's look at that. Let's look at console storage. Go back to it again, one more time. Make sure I'm not looking at something incorrect here. All right, 
Plague Tale Innocence, of course, Prime Video, Country Roll, Final Fantasy VII Remake for the PlayStation 5, Voodoo, Maquette, Pathless, Apple TV, YouTube, Immortals, Phoenix Rising, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Godfall, Demon Souls, Astro's Prey Room, Returnal, and also, let's see what it is, MLB The Show, should be on here, where is it? Let's move over, alright, and let's see, that's my console storage, M.2 SSD, I have one terabyte available, which is very nice, and then of course, my external hard drives, four terabyte PS4 hard drive that I got when I had my PlayStation 4 Pro and that luckily moved over. So very nice. Those are where most of my PlayStation games are stored as of right now. So let's go ahead and move some games over from my SSD, from the uh, console storage to the PlayStation 5 uh, M.2 SSD. So let's do that now. Okay, something I'm missing here. Console storage. Let's move a Plague Tale Innocence down. Let's move that over. Go ahead and move that. And as you can see, it is moving progressively faster thanks to the read write speeds on the M.2 SSD. It is very comparable to what is in the PlayStation 5 out of the box, of course, but these, the files, the hard drive size, the SSD size is laughable in comparison to what the Xbox Series X is offering in terms of its counterparts. So it is very nice to have this moved over. Let's remove over, let's see, let's move over Returnal, that's another game as you can see is blazing fast it's surprisingly fast i mean i've dealt with m.2 ssd speeds to four but nothing as fast as this with my gaming pc i don't have anything near as fast as this i think maybe four thousand me megabytes per second which is not bad in the grand scheme of things but in comparison to this in the playstation 5 it is very very slow and then just a matter of seconds, it is done. This will only take about maybe 30 seconds to a minute into onto a gaming PC, my gaming PC that I have now. But it's moving it relatively fast on from the console stores to the SSD. Let's see. Now I have MLB to show 21. Let's go down to storage. Let's go back to storage again and go to installation location. And these are the default settings for PlayStation 5 games and apps as well as PlayStation 4 games and apps. So let's switch over to M.2 storage for all of our current PlayStation 5 games and apps. PlayStation 4 games will stay the same into our extendable storage. So Let's go back to the store because it looks like my copy of MLB The Show 21 was lost, apparently. Let's see here. Let's go to collection. There it is. Of course, that's the one I want. Let's download that, but we'll go ahead and get that started. That way it'll know exactly where it needs to go whenever it's being downloaded. And let's see if there's anything in terms of the download speeds that may have been improved and things like that. Let's see. Uh, looks like that won't be the case. So let's go ahead and move away from that. But I just want to give you guys a quick overview of how everything works in terms of moving games over from the console storage to the 
SSD that you install into the PlayStation 5. Of course, you have to have the system beta available uh, in order for you to have access to this particular feature. But as I said, I'm pretty sure this feature will be available to the general public in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. I will leave a link down in the description below to a YouTube video from a YouTube channel that has done a very good job explaining the setup process and things like that. And as one that I followed whenever I installed my M.2 SSD into my PlayStation 5. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks to you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have a PlayStation 5 and you are and you are hoping to add that storage into, let me know which M.2 SSD you're going to get. I'll leave links down in the description below for M.2 SSDs you can that are compatible with the PlayStation 5, whatever version that you have, whether it be the disc or the digital. Uh, let me know down below what you plan to do if you have a PlayStation 5 or when you plan to get one. Also, uh, let me know what games you're playing on that as well. So anyways, rambling too much. This video is going on way too long. Leave a like down below, comment, share this video, and more importantly, subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you'll be notified of any new videos I put on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.